How we doing? I'm gonna go back to doing one of my little um, the white paint with the cup on it deal. But I want to show you guys. I did my grandson's the other day, and these are the colors he picked out: the purple, the silver, the gold. I got a video coming out of it. It just didn't come out. I mean, yeah, it's okay. It's nice and shiny and sparkly and all that. But I want something more a little more dramatic for him, so I'm gonna do another one. He seemed to liked it. My daughter showed him a picture and he said he liked it. So I'll put the video up of the one I did of this. Um, with his other one when I do the other one for him. I want to try to do one with the same colors, but I'm going to add some blue to it. Um, so we'll see what comes out of that one. And I'll put that video up with the other one. But I haven't done one like this in a while. And I love doing these with the color. I like the way the color comes out. So we're going to do it with the white this time in the center. We're going to put the cup in it. And fill our cup with color. I want this pretty thick, but I want to make sure it's not too thick because I have learned that once it gets too thick, it don't want to move. Well, we can always add more white around it. So there we go. Get that nice and sealed in our white. And yeah, okay, right now we got. There's purple, this is that uh, royal purple, this is the blue, that's just dark blue. Um, I got some more of that Tuscany teal, black, um, yellow, and I might put some red in here because I had some red left over for my other one, that all red one, and I might add some white to this. So yeah, let's see what happens here. Um, I'm debating on... I might add just, okay, I'm going to add just a tad bit of um, coconut milk to one or two of them. Just for a couple of cells here. That does sometimes add really nice to these. So we'll give some to these and see what happens. I'm just about out of coconut milk. I got to go grab some. I'm debating on what kind of stuff I want to use, really. I like this, but I wouldn't mind experimenting to see if something else, maybe use your better cells or different kinds of cells. So I've been researching that a little bit to see what kind of stuff I want to use, if I've gotten any. So, let's see. Should we go light to dark or dark to light? Let's start with a little bit of yellow. We'll get it nice and bright to start out with. A little yellow down in there. We're not going to go humongous on the colors right off the bat. I want to see what they'll do. So that teal. Tuscany teal. And then I'm going to put. I meant to put the white in between them. Let me get rid of the, my straw out of there. So I can control that better. As we know, the white pushes it through. Helps break that up. Uh, let's go with a little purple. I like this purple. And that teal together. I'm going to do a little white now. I'm going to try to just put a little bit of white in each one. Ooh, there she went. That cup's a little light for this. You really want to use the bigger cups. But the other one I had was really big. And I didn't want to do something that massive. Okay, we're going to throw a little black in there. Give us some rings. Some different lines. Let's add some blue. A little white. Just a little bit. And some blue. I just love what comes out of there. I think it's amazing how that paint goes up underneath and comes out. And the colors you do get with it. I thought the yellow would be good because of the um, brightness it'll add like that. So that's a little more yellow for another layer. Helps the color 
the brighter colors pop out too. Those dark colors. Okay, we're gonna drop in just a tiny bit of red for this. Just something to give it a little spark. And I think that's all we're gonna put in the whole thing. We definitely gotta come in with some white now. You want to run on me? Oops. Darn it. Okay, we're gonna let that soak out a little bit. Let it run, do its thing. I just love how them cells all open up with like stuff like this and how just one color pops up in the middle of another color. I think that's so neat. Okay, let's go a little more blue in there. I knew that teal was going to be really good. Okay, just a little more of that with the blue. You know what, we're going to go. Keep putting the white so we can keep these colors nice and separated. That's what we want. Wish I wouldn't have dropped that big glob of white right there. Okay, now with the teal. Oh, I keep calling it teal. It's Tuscany teal. Okay, let's go a little yellow with that, and just to brighten that just the slightest bit. Help that color come out more. A little white. And some more black. That black seems to set off just a little bit. And some more purple on the dark. And we're going to lighten that up with some white. Here we go, and drips in there. Okay, let her do her thing some more. We can start moving some of this around a little bit. Get that back in there. Yeah, we got a lot of colors on there. Let's add some more purple. We're going to do a big glob of purple. That purple seems to be looking really good on there. Some white. Yeah. And we're going to throw in some more yellow. Yellow and purple and the red are going together good. The blue ain't coming out as much as I thought. So we're going to put a little more of that blue up in there. On that side. And then we're going to bring out some white. Let's see. Stay there. So I just love how that white, when you put it in, it just pumps some colors right out. Darn it. Quit doing that. Gotta start wiping that lip. <sighs> yeah, that's amazing. We're getting out of that. Spread it around a little bit and see what we got. Get that to open up a little bit. I might bring some of that down this way. I'm going to leave the cup right there so we can keep that going. We might have enough paint on there once I lift that. Let's see what we got. Yeah, whole another world under there. 
sort of looks like the um anybody knows anything about journey the journey beetle okay let's see what we got to work with Just sort of letting it open up and do its thing. See if we can just pull that. Yeah. That's where I want it right there. Sorry guys, I'm just really into this. It's got some amazing things going on in it. Sure to look like a um, kaleidoscope into space. I mean, you got some amazing things going on in here. Like just all over the place. I never seen so much in one painting. There we go. That's what you wanted. Want some of that flash up there. This needs just a little more here. <clears throat> Let me see if I can just throw a little, little way along here and pull them over with that. Uh, just the slightest amount of purple. Just to highlight what we got. Let that sit for a second. We're just going to pull that right off. That is unbelievable. And so is that. So is that. So is that. Yeah. Like I said, you got all kinds of stuff going on in this painting. Wow. That has to be the craziest one I've ever done. As far as different colors and different shapes and different, I mean, there is every, it's going in every different direction. So, you want a bright, beautiful color. I mean, that's like the rainbow and everybody's worst nightmare and uh, Superman. Yeah, I mean, that's just everything's mixed in there, buddy. Got the bright blue sea, got gases coming in. I mean, whatever you can imagine, I guess, in this painting. I don't even know what I'm going to call this one. Yeah. It's amazing. I mean, wow. I, I'm. It's not even that it's so... The painting is cool. It's what's happening in the painting. I mean, you got that. 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 Turning into all that. And you got that. Just rivers of color. I think Picasso would be proud. I'm not saying it's awesome and perfect, but you want to talk about abstract, how much more abstract can you get than that? Yeah. Look at that. And these paintings have been staying exactly drying. I got my mixture just right back finally. So they're drying exactly the way I'm pouring them, which is awesome. I mean, look at that. Yellow and black went together, so awesome. This one, you just have like a space scene right there. 
it is just unbelievable. And then Tranquil, Serenity over here. Sort of like a moon or sun. Wow. Just all kinds of stuff. A little bit of color for everybody. What do you think, guys? Let me know. That is about the craziest painting I've done yet. Color-wise. And that was only like a couple different colors. Black, blue, Tuscan teal, yellow, purple, a touch of red, and some white. And that's what we got. Well, I hope you guys are liking them. Hope you're enjoying them. Hit that like button for me, please. Helps me know what's going on, whether to keep doing them or doing something different. Uh, my comments and my likes and shares have been way down, so please hit that like button, guys. I need to know what you know. And I need to know what you're thinking. Helps me produce what you want to see. If you don't like something, I'm not going to keep doing it. Um, here's that one, the red one that was way too red, but I mean, it dried pretty neat. This stuff here is pretty cool. I mean, it's a really, it's, it's a, not a bad painting. It just red. I mean, that wasn't that much red I put in there. But it, there's no yellows. I mean, little specks of yellow here and there. Um, some of the colors just got taken right out by that. So, yeah. Let me know what you think, guys. That one dried really good. That's my other crazy painting. That had some really neat edges. But like I said, they're all drying exactly the way I'm pouring them. I mean, they're... They're perfect, so I'm going to try spraying these and cure coating them and see what happens. And, like this one. Yeah. Well, we only get one time at it, guys. Enjoy what you can. Do what you can. Have as much fun as you can. And I want to give a shout out to um, Free is Better 86. Please go watch your channel. They can use the help right now. Um. Her husband Sean's down from a um, collapsed lung, so they need your views, they need your help. Uh, they have a Go, uh, GoFundMe page. It's um, just go to, I'll put up their uh, name in the description. So please go view their channel, go help them out, go give some donations to them. They can really use it. Um, yeah, they're young people, they need a chance to keep going and keep doing what they're doing. So. Any bit of little help will help them greatly. Watching their channel, viewing, uh, watch the whole thing, watch the ads, watch their um, things. I'm going to start sharing some of their uh, videos on my channel. Um, all I say is give them a chance, go watch them. They're really cool people. They're for our Canadian neighbors and they're awesome people. They're definitely worth to watch. I would back them 100% with my channel. But yeah, go watch them, go donate, go help. That's what the channel's about, that's what YouTube's about, is helping each other out, guys. So, enjoy the paintings, enjoy the stuff. Go over, help them out. We'll all be happy, we'll all have a great day, you'll feel better about everything. Keep a smile on your face. Later. Peace.